All right, fellas, ladies, this is the Envoy S metered. Um, I have it set up for consumption and production. Um, and here's what we got here. Um, it's hooked up to this. Um, down here at number 27 breaker um, is my 10.4 kilowatt uh, ground mounted solar system coming into my box. All right. The box you see before you is a single phase 200 amp service, um, 120, 240, 120 phase neutral, 240 phase to phase. All right. Um, I'm going to go over the phases because this is critically important. And this is what a lot of people leave out when they're wiring up the Envoy. Your Envoy will still work. However, you will get the incorrect readings. All right. <clears throat> your line 1A phase comes in. Your line 2B phase comes in. All right. That's your A phase. A phase, B phase. This is a live panel, so I need to be careful. All right. Um, a phase comes in, hits that lug, hits this breaker. My breaker transfers it to the right. So now I have A phase on my right on that bus. B phase comes in, does the same thing. B phase comes in, hits that lug, hits my breaker. Breaker transfers it to the left. And now I have my B phase on my left. Okay. Every panel is different, including how it repeats in, on your bus bar as far as where the phases land. This is just how mine, mine does it. Now, after my phases hit that bus, my first slots at the very top pick up B phase. And as you can see, I've already laid this out. And then it repeats to A phase, B phase, A phase, and yada, 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 and on down the line. All right. If you're not sure how to lay your panel out, um, it's uh, a bit more difficult, uh, especially if you're dealing with three phase, but it's very easy once you get the hang of it. Um, if you're not sure how to lay your panel out for phases, call an electrician so you don't screw this part up. Okay, um, now what is critically important, the end phase, doesn't really do a good job of explaining, is to make sure that whatever terminals land on the Envoy's terminal block on A need to be on the same phase. Here's what I mean by that. Okay, here's your, this candy cane wire, if we follow it, okay, it's going to come all the way over to Envoy. It's going to, and here is Envoy's A terminal, as you can see. All right, it's top left. So we go down in the terminal block, top left, it's right there. What wire do we have in the top left terminal block? We have this red wire, which turns into a, this candy cane wire. Okay, so if we follow that candy cane wire all the way back to our panel, we find out that that candy cane wire is on A phase. It's on A phase, and it lands on A terminal inside the Envoy. That is important, okay? The second part of this that's, that's also critically important is the current transformer. We're gonna do that now. Now, like I said, what is critically important is that the conductor supplying power to the envoy on A terminal, okay? You need to know that phase, okay? In this case, the conductor supplying power to the A terminal on the envoy is on A phase, all right? Now, Envoy asks you to mark a current transformer with electrical tape. This is also referred to as indexing your conductors, okay? Um, not to the same scope, but that's what I'm going to refer to it as, okay? When you index your conductors, I indexed one set of conductors, these conductors here, because these conductors are going to land on terminal IA dot and IB, or my fault, they're going to land on terminals IA dot and IA on the Envoy. So if we follow that indexed conductor down, down, down through the conduit into the box, we see it again right here. Okay, now you're going to see that this twisted pair lands on terminals on the Envoy, IA dot and IA. Okay, now what you need to make sure of is whatever conductors land on terminals IA dot, and IA inside the Envoy are on the same phase as Envoy Terminal Block A. Okay, so we know Terminal, we know Terminal Block A inside the Envoy right now. If we follow that candy cane wire back through, we know that is on A phase. Okay, the indexed conductors of the twisted pair that come down through the conduit, okay, and land in here, land on. IA dot and IA, okay? They also need to be on the same phase as A terminal. And they are. They are on A phase, 
Let me show you guys again. You have this conductor, the candy cane conductor, lands on terminal A, okay, inside the envoy. It is on A phase, all right? The conductors coming from my current transformer that are indexed red, the twisted pair, comes down, and there, like, there are two sets of twisted pair wires, okay? The, the set that you index red, black, or whatever color you choose, that is the set you want to land on the IA dot and the IA terminal inside Envoy. And as such, you want to make sure those conductors are on the same phase as the A terminal that is supplying power to the Envoy. So again, you have the red index twisted pair wire landing on IA dot and IA. Okay, if we follow it back, the red index twisted pair is on A phase. The candy cane wire supplying power to the A terminal on the Envoy is also on A phase. That is critically important. Now I'm going to show you how Envoy explains this process, or N phase, on phase, whatever. Okay, right here where my thumb is at. Uh, here it is. Install the Mark CT on the load center feed wire line 1, matching the Envoy's A voltage terminal. And that's all they tell you. Basically, what they are trying to explain to you is to make sure that whatever conductor you land on a Envoy's A terminal, okay, make sure you record that phase. Make sure you know what phase that conductor is that is landing on Envoy's A terminal. And then whenever you run your current transformer, okay, whatever twisted pair, because you're going to have two, two twisted pairs, this is a twisted pair. This is a twisted pair, and this is a twisted pair. Each current transformer is going to have a twisted pair. Whatever twisted pair you index that lands on IA dot and IA needs to be on the same phase as the A terminal inside the Envoy. Um, <clears throat> I really hope this helped you folks. Um, like I said, a lot of people just kind of skim over this, but this is critically important. If you do it backwards, your current transformers will still work, but they won't give you the right, they will not give you the right reading. So they will still function, but they will not function appropriately. And I hope it helps.